If you've ever walked through a major American city, you've probably come across various monuments, statues, or historical markers that honor the sacrifices made by a certain individual or a group of people. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C., for instance, honors the lives of United States service members who fought and died in the Vietnam War. Similar to other war memorials and monuments in Washington, D.C. and throughout the United States, these monuments serve as a public acknowledgement of the sacrifices that a nation has made to uphold a shared value, such as freedom, or equal rights for its citizens. Societies also erect other, more personal monuments. On highways and busy intersections across America, for instance, people place flowers, wooden crosses, and ghost bikes at places where loved ones have been killed by a vehicle. Although such memorials function to honor the lives of those who have been killed, Ulmer points out that they do not operate in the same way as more public memorials, such as statues or war memorials. That is, they do not often explicitly acknowledge the specific death as a sacrifice on behalf of a value. In the case of traffic fatalities, these deaths are no more accidents than the sacrifices made by soldiers are accidents. Rather, they are both sacrifices made on behalf of a shared value. However, in the case of traffic fatalities, this shared value is not an explicit national ideal like freedom, but more a mundane right to own and drive a vehicle at high speeds. For Ulmer, addressing a pressing public problem like traffic fatalities is impossible until these deaths are acknowledged as public sacrifices rather than individual, isolated incidents. We would say, like, even take the, the, the nation state or, or any, you know, any empire or, or any collective political body, as we say, it, it monumentalizes certain things. There's certain things it wants to uh, remember. And... <clears throat> and it acknowledges those things that are important to it. Uh, so, for example, we have the Vietnam Wall, uh, which is on the, uh, in Washington, D.C., the most important you know, mall where we display so many of our monuments, uh, and uh, on it are carved over 58,000 names, and these are the individuals uh, killed in action in Vietnam. And the wall is there to uh, to memorialize the fact that these deaths are not accidents, they're not wasted, they were spent on behalf of a national value, which is, you know, the democratic power, whatever whatever we think of, you know, that war or whatever. The way the the way the nation is remembering is these are the honored dead. They were killed. They were drafted. They were killed uh, on behalf of a value, um, and that that we. You know, so we take those individual deaths, promote them uh, as a sacrifice on behalf of the collectivity.